In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a progressive house lead inside FL Studio using GMS. It's gonna sound like this. What's up my producer friends? I'm David with anothermonsterproductions.com and I've had a lot of requests to do uh, some sort of progressive house lead. We're gonna be using GMS in this tutorial, but you can pretty much apply the same concepts to any synthesizer, any software synth. This is a pretty easy to make sound. Now I just wanna mention that the little intro clip that you heard in the beginning of this video, I just put together for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it, so it's not perfect. It was just to sort of give you an idea of how this lead would sound. But what I actually did with this lead was I created a main lead and then I created a couple layers. And I'm just gonna go ahead and play the main lead, which is what we're gonna be making today. It's gonna sound like this. And then this is a layer that I added on it. So the main sound, which is what we're gonna be making today, is just a basic super saw with a little bit of editing. And then depending on what other leads you sort of layer on top of it is gonna give it a little bit of a different sound. So I would recommend that you take this main layer and experiment with it and layer it with a bunch of other different lead sounds to come up with something that you like. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right, so the first thing that I wanna do when I have my GMS loaded up is go ahead, uh, where it says bases right here, let's go ahead and click this, go down to user, and go to default. This is gonna get us an initialized preset, which is just a saw wave. It's gonna sound like this. So I'm actually gonna change oscillator one to a saw retro. So it's just a slightly different variation of our saw wave there. And now I'm gonna turn this into a super saw. So how I do that is just bring the voices up. Uh, so right here where it says unisono, let's go ahead and bring this up. I'm gonna bring it up to about 11 voices. And then I'm gonna bring the detune up to, let's try like 40%. 40% is pretty good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring the stereo all the way up to 100 or 1.0%. Okay, so now we have our super saw. And we're like 80% of the way there with this lead already. Now what we do next is kind of personal preference and depends a little bit on the timbre and what we're kind of going for with this. What I ended up doing was messing a little bit with the attack, decay, sustain, and release, and just trying to kind of make this sound a little bit more plucky so that it had an initial hit and then kind of fades off a little bit. So I'm gonna bring the sustain down and the decay down a little bit. So I'm bringing the decay to about 55% and sustain to about 55%. I think I'm cool with that. The next thing that I wanna do is I wanna go into this tab where it says MIDI slash EQ. Go ahead and click that. We're gonna enable our EQ and I'm gonna start uh, just messing with some of these a little bit. I'm really trying to bring up the highs a little bit there and just make it a little more airy. So I'm boosting about five decibels there, about two decibels on the treble, 2.4 dBs on the mids, and about two dBs on the semi there. So then I'm gonna come down into my envelope section here and I'm gonna bring the decay down to about, I don't know, 75%. We'll bring the amount up to about 75% as well. So then I wanna bring the cutoff down a little bit here. We'll go to about 75% and we can mess with the decay a little bit to kind of hear what's going on. Okay, cool. So uh, we're starting to get there, but this sound sounds just a little bit weak. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some reverb and the amount of reverb that you add or the type of reverb that you add 
is going to really impact the way this sounds. So it may be worth adding more or less reverb to this particular sound within GMS and then maybe stacking a different reverb on top of it or just adding a different reverb altogether. But let's go ahead and do something like this. From here, it's really just a matter of layering some other sounds on top of this one to just beef things up a little bit. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. That's gonna let you know anytime I release videos in the future. Right now, I'm doing tutorials about once a week, and those usually come out on Friday or Saturday. So keep an eye out for that. If you have any questions about anything or tutorial requests, feel free to hit me up on Instagram at anothermonster1. Also, if you feel like you're really struggling with music production, sound design, anything in between, and you feel like you just need a little bit of extra help, I am doing one one-on-one -on -one private lessons, which you can sign up for on my website at anothermonsterproductions.com. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description of this video if you guys want to sign up for that. And while you're there, be sure to take advantage of the free stuff I'm giving away in the description of this video as well. I've got a sample pack and an ebook, which you can download for free. You just need to enter your email address and I'll send that stuff over to you. And as always, I will see you in the next video.